Hey, what's good, Wahoo Nation? So, um, I thought I would do a state of the program video for uh, for UVA basketball, which is something I haven't done yet this year. Um, so basically, basically for this basketball team, you know, it's been you know rather up and down year, so to speak. You know, we started off really good, and then you know we hit a couple of bumps in the road. Um, you know, with with losses on the road to Memphis. And then we had the skid where we lost three straight games on the road uh, against Notre Dame, NC State, and then uh, Wake Forest. Uh, so this team, it's been up and down. And I think the big reason for that really is just youth and inexperience. Because if you think about it, guys, you know, outside of Reese Beekman and maybe to some extent Tane Murray, you know, this team is relatively inexperienced when it comes to in, uh, when it comes to playing in this system because you look at who else we have on the roster. You have Isaac McNeely, a sophomore. You have Ryan Dunn, a sophomore. You have Leon Bond, redshirt freshman. You have Elijah Gertrude, freshman. Then you have Jake Groves and Andrew Rohde and Jordan Minor. All of those are transfers. So this team is relatively inexperienced with the in terms of playing in this system. And ever since we came back, you know, from that break, from the exam break, this team, it, they really struggled. You look at the game against, uh, I believe it was Northeastern, you know, a team that we should have beaten by at least double digits, but we barely squeaked by with three, uh, winning by three points. So then they had the win the other night at home versus uh, Virginia Tech, and it was a pretty big win. You know, it's a rivalry game, what have you. And then yesterday, on the road against Georgia Tech, um, a Georgia Tech team that's kind of, you know, in transition. They got a new head coach this year. And Atlanta has been a house of horrors, but, you know, we were down by, I think, seven or ten points. And then we came back and had a very strong second half. And so, uh, this team, they're looking, you know, they played well yesterday. I was very, very happy with what I saw last night. And Atlanta Atlanta has been a house of horrors for, for us. So uh, I guess now the question is, you know, have we found something? And what I mean by that, ever since, you know, starting with the Wake Forest game, now granted we lost that game, but then we, then against Virginia Tech and then against Georgia Tech, um, you know, we – We've actually gotten better uh, with Jordan Minor starting, and that's something we've been missing is a good post presence. And so perhaps maybe uh, we found the right combination. You know, Jordan Minor, he went off in the Virginia Tech game. He had a pretty solid game uh, with uh, against Georgia Tech yesterday. And then Isaac McNeely, um, you know, for a while he had struggled. He'd struggled quite a bit. He had struggled quite a bit here lately. His shot had really been off, but yesterday, yesterday against Georgia Tech, he hit six threes, and most of which came in the second half. So, I mean, is it possible that I might got his shot back? You know, we'll wait and see. You know, it's only one game. So, I guess the question now is for this UVA basketball team: What does this mean going forward? Well, um, you know, it's it's possible that you know it was starting to look like we were not going to make the tournament again, you know, which would mean the second time in three years, you know, we would miss the NCAA tournament. But if we keep playing at this level, you know, now granted yesterday's win, you know, like I said, Georgia Tech, they're in a transition period. But yesterday, you know, I thought it was a huge win for us because this was our first true win on the road. And so I was very happy with with that and you got to play well on the road and that's something this team has really struggled uh when it played when it comes to playing on the road i mean you know the last three saturdays well really the last four saturdays in a row we've played a road game in fact here's an interesting thing about our schedule outside of maybe one or two games every single saturday we have a road game and so um that's we gotta we gotta play better on the road that's that's the key and like i said earlier, you know, I think it's just lack of experience. It's just been lack of experience for us um, in terms of outside of Beekman and Murray, 
you know, those are really the only two players that have experience playing in this system, in this Tony Bennett system. Um, as far as players, obviously, you know, IMAC, he, he started off hot, then he, you know, he got kind of struggled for a while. Actually, he struggled mightily for a while. Uh, but then last night, you know, like I said, he got his shot back, and I hope that's a sign of things to come for this team. Um, Jordan Minor, these last two games, uh, has really been, he, he's really stepped up. But the guy who's really impressed me so far, um, as far as the new guys, when you count freshmen as well as transfers, and this guy is, in my opinion, has been very underrated this year, and that's Jake Groves, the transfer from Oklahoma. And so uh, he has really been shooting the ball very well. And so I like what I see out of him. And, and so, you know, maybe hopefully we can keep it going with him. But to me, he's been, at least in my mind, he's been the most underrated player on this basketball team so far. You know, you got Leon Bond, you know, who's a redshirt freshman. He's I think he's going to be a good one once he gets developed and all that. And so... You know, we'll see what happens. Elijah Gertrude, if he can stay healthy, remember uh, he's coming off of a torn ACL uh, his senior year. If he can stay healthy, look out. I think he's going to be a good one. And then Dante Harris, that's another one. If he can stay healthy as well, uh, I like what I saw out of him out of Virginia Tech. That one play, um, I forget who he was, who was guarding him, but he basically, you know, I love his explosiveness. So we'll see what happens, but. I guess the question for, for, for you guys is, have we turned the corner? And, you know, have we possibly found something with, with this new lineup with Jordan Minor uh, starting? Because we need we need a post presence. You know, Blake Buchanan, you know, I think he's going to be good too, but he's he's raw. And I think that he needs, to, he needs to get more playing time. I think once he does that, we'll have that big man presence uh, playing at the five and having Jordan Minor at the four. So, so we'll see. You know, like I said, it's been a very up and down year for us. And uh, but, but like I said, perhaps we turn the corner. So what are, you, what are your thoughts, guys? Uh, leave your comments. Leave your thoughts down below uh, in the comments section, guys. And I'll catch you guys next time. Go Hoops.